The taxi will drop you off at the airport and I believe they have to pay £5 uh, to drop you off and it's two levels below. So you get your bag and you go up in the lift, I think it's two levels, and here is what you will see which is the entrance to the South Terminal at Gatwick. You then turn around to your left and you head through the entrance which you can see here. Here we are going down the Travelator. A point to make, if you'd have turned right instead of left at the entrance to the South Terminal and gone in that way, you would have ended up facing Marks and Spencers, or I think it's just to the right and there's also a coffee bar and left at the end of that travelator is access to the railway station. Here is a check-in area for BA flights as we're travelling BA Club to Seville. This is the area which we will check in at. Here is the area where club class passengers check in and also gold, silver and bronze card holders. Here is BA Club World and here as you can see is where you check in. Nice area to check in, not too busy and pretty relaxed. We've been through security, obviously I can't film that and here we are looking around the South Terminal at Gatwick. The lower level you can see from here looking down is where you go to catch your flight and the upper level is shops, cafeterias, everywhere really where you can buy something. And it's, it's quite a nice place to people watch if you've nothing better to do. Here you can see is the entrance to the lounges of which is a BA Club lounge which we are going to go into. Here is the entrance rest area of the BA Club lounge. If alcohol is your preferred beverage you can see there's lots here and there's loads of soda and water. There are tea and coffee making facilities which you do yourself, plenty of biscuits, in the morning there's croissant, there's part au chocolat. In my opinion the BA Club Lounge is a nice place to be. And what I would suggest is a runway part of the lounge, you can watch planes landing and taking off and you can see the even number gates head on in the south terminal and you have a good view of the airport. Here is what was on the lunch menu, which was I had at fish cakes, a chicken curry, some rice, uh, some corn on the cob, and you can see some bread rolls and various accruements, which you can add to your food, and there was a couple of types of cake. I had the chicken curry that had plenty of chicken in it, I had the rice with peas, I had a fish cake, a bread roll, and a glass of orange juice. This is outside the club lounge and a lady walked in saying it's like a zoo out there. You don't want to go out there. The BA Club Lounge is, as it says, a really quiet, relaxing place to be. Here we are heading to our gate, gate 12, for the BA flight to Seville. You will see Welling come up on the screen. That's because it's a code share flight between BA and Welling. Even though it reads Fueling, it is pronounced Welling.
BA Club Europe seating wise is a row of three economy seats with a tray in the middle. They start you off in BA Club Europe with a couple of drinks of your choice. It is a trolley service. The choice was a lamb shank or a Korean dish. I had the lamb shank and every part of this meal was superb. Everything, the cheese, the sweet, the bread roll, everything was perfectly cooked and really, really tasty. Susan had the Korean dish. Now, in this video, it doesn't look that great, but she said it was really, really nice. Now obviously not being in Europe anymore, we went through passport control and for me it's a good thing because I've got a stamp on my passport so when I look back I can see where I've been. Picking up the bags was straightforward, as was heading out of the airport, getting a taxi was no problem and away we went. This is a club lounge at Seville and it is a total waste of time. It's small, the seats are uncomfortable, the food is not that great. We ended up leaving the club lounge. You'll get burgers, really nice baguettes. The seats are a lot better outside the club lounge. In my opinion, if you're travelling club world, you're best off going in there, getting yourself a couple of sodas and heading out and getting something to eat elsewhere. Here is the BA Club Europe menu for the trip home. I had the beef stroganoff and it was superb. The flight to Gatwick was pretty uneventful. We left over an hour late, which wasn't the end of the world, which means we arrived in Gatwick around about 21.30. However, the place was heaving. Customs was really, really full. Picked up our bags, no problem and home we went. I hope this video gives you a good insight of where you go when you're going to Gatwick Airport to go on holiday or whatever and it gives you an insight into the BA Club Lounge and what you're paying for. Thank you very much for watching and wherever you're going I hope you have a pleasant trip. Thank you.